welcome back guys so in this video i'm going to show you how you can install and run the chrome os from the usb so it's going to be a plug and play format so let's get started so first we will right click on the start menu and open the terminal as the admin and here we will write some commands all the commands will be in the description and also i will put it on the screen so you can pause and follow along and WSL for this command will download the virtual machine all the dependencies that are needed to run the Ubuntu on our computer this process will take a lot of time because it's going to download multiple files and then install them so have patience Now we're going to download some files so all the links will be in the description so we need this branch file and the recovery image for our chrome so mine is an amd ryzen chipset so i'm going to search for and download the zork if you have an intel and all of this information will be in the description because uh, it has some kind of parameters so you need to be choosing your uh, recovery image carefully We will also need Rufus to make our bootable pen drive, so download that as well. So now after the downloads have completed, you need to create a folder named Chrome OS and put all the files inside, so it's easy for the file management. So just make a folder. And we also need to note down the address in the note in the notepad and uh, convert that address in this format you can also remember it but you need to uh, remember the exact uh, directory uh, the location if you open your start menu you will find the ubuntu application installed already or you can search for it and then open the ubuntu terminal and here we will run all the commands to install the chrome os so we need to mount the directory where all the files are located so we will use this command to cd into the directory and now we will run all the commands inside the directory we will first update the repository and also install some files needed to continue the installation process so we will run this command I forgot to install pv so also need to install it so you can include it in the previous command or you can install it later so we need this to run the further commands so now using the tar software that we downloaded using the linux we're going to unzip the sebang the branch file that we downloaded earlier so we need to copy the name of the file full name with the extension and run this command followed by the name of the file so it gave me this error because this is not the full name of the file so we need to enable the so extension from the advanced options and now you can see the extension has dot zz at the end so we need to copy that also and then we can proceed with the unzipping and now we will unzip the the chrome os recovery file so copy the name of the file as well After unzipping the recovery image, you will get a file. So we need to copy the name of that file and we will use it to finally create the ISO image.
this process will take a long time so you need to sit back and just wait for it to finish now it is asking us if you want to dual boot or just install it on a pen drive so we have already made a video about dual boot before so just we're going to hit enter and it will automatically save the iso file in the location so you can see the iso image file in the folder and now we just need to install the rufus and open it and like we normally do we will create a bootable pen drive so select your partition for MBR, uh, check the description or uh, you can check the pin comment of how to proceed for that. But this is going to be for the GPT and UFI. And just start the process and it will format the pen drive. And the pen drive should be minimum of 16 GB or above because the more the storage, the better it is going to be. So remember that. So now we will boot into our BIOS menu and we'll choose the boot device options and then just select our pen drive and it will boot into the Chrome OS but before that you will see this logo and it will take a long time for my AMD Ryzen 5 device it took maybe more than 30 minutes but then finally you will see the loading screen and for me the Wi-Fi wasn't working so I used an Ethernet cable so this may not case might be the case for you and I tried various methods to fix it but it's just not getting fixed um, Chrome OS Flex actually the Wi-Fi was working very fine on that so I do not know but that setting aside I used the Ethernet and the experience was really good and uh, yes this is how you can just use it on your like a uh, pen drive so you can just plug it and boot from it and you do not need to install it on your partition so whenever you need a chrome os you can just use your pen drive for it so i would recommend getting a higher storage pen drive so we can get more storage so that was it for this video and i'll see you in the next one